everyone, it's John from What Up, and welcome back to another video. Now, before we get into everything, including the exclusive I have for you today, I do want to mention if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, please click that button. Subscribe to the channel. I put out Wheel of Time on Prime related news at least once a week, if not more often, and Wheel of Time content as well. So if you like hearing about the production or just Wheel of Time stuff in general, I'm your guy. You want to click that like button on the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you think I'm doing, and subscribe to the channel for all of my videos. Now, that being said... Spoiler warning, in this video we're going to talk about the events near the end of the Eye of the World, so if you haven't read at least the first book in Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time, be forewarned, I may ruin some major plot points and character arcs for you. It's eerie. It's, it's, it's kind of staggering the similarities between between the two photos side by side there, right? Now, this isn't a picture I took the other day. This isn't some kind of CGI mock-up. This is an actor by the name of Guy Roberts. Uh, and yeah, he he could be my twin, like serious doppelganger vibes going on here. <laughs> so and the one-off exclusive I have for you today is that Guy Roberts is in fact involved in the production. He is playing a reoccurring cast member. Now, who is Guy Roberts? Well, Guy Roberts is a renowned stage actor, and I'm talking like next level stage actor he's toured all over the world all over europe all over north america and has won numerous awards too many to count for stage acting so he is he is a phenomenal actor uh and he's the founder of the prague shakespearean company so he is based directly in prague so that's you know that's a little bit of a hint that maybe he'd be involved he's such a good actor um but You'll know that last fall, when we talked about Amir, Sander, and Thomas, three cast members of WattSeries.com broke, basically saying that they were involved in the show, but they didn't know the roles. Guy Roberts happened to show up in a couple of the photos we talked about at the time, uh, and he was also in some of their social media posts. We didn't think too much of it because we assumed that he was just friends with them, plus he was a local in the area, so we couldn't really pin the fact that he was definitely there for the Wheel of Time. But recently, uh, I was going through some old social media posts, and I found a a lot of you know circumstantial evidence that pointed to the fact that Guy was involved in the show. So I reached out to a couple of my sources and they did confirm that he was in fact involved in the show that he did film and that he has been cast as a reoccurring character, which is really neat. So we now know another cast member for the Wheel of Time. Now we don't know their role, but I do have my suspicions that I'm going to get into later on in the video. Now Guy in addition to being a renowned, world-renowned stage actor, has also done voiceover work for Japanese anime, as well as uh, a lot of fight choreography. So he is also an award-winning fight choreographer, which is, you know, another hint towards who I think he is playing in the show. So let's take a look at Guy in action here, and then we'll talk a little bit more about how we came to know that he was part of the show. <laughs> Mercy. There's no mercy. There's only a river of death that swallows us all. That's some powerful stuff. I mean, keep this clip in mind later on when I talk a little bit about which role I think that guy is going to play because he fits it perfectly. And just from that clip alone, um, and that's from Medieval, uh, a show that's in post production that's going to come out, I believe, in 2021, sometime this year. Um, he fits the role perfectly for this particular character I have in mind. All right, so how did we get to know the fact that Guy was part of the production? Well, it all started last fall when WattSeries.com broke the news that Amir, Sandra, and Thomas were all part of the production, but they didn't know their roles. They were on set, they were filming, they were doing a number of different things, um, but we didn't know their actual roles. And again, if you don't know who WattSeries.com is, I've left a link to their website down below in the description box, just right down there. Go ahead and click that link and bookmark it. They break all kinds of Wheel of Time news, and they're the ones that helped me dredge up some of these social media posts for this video, uh, and actually when I was doing my research on whether or not Guy was part of you know, the show. So, you know, a big shout out to them, and thank you so much for the help. Uh, and please go bookmark their site and go check them out for Wheel of Time news daily, because they put up all kinds of new stuff all the time. Now, some of these social media posts, we're going to go through them here, and alone, I mean, they're social media posts, they could mean anything, but yeah, it's just, it was just too much all at once. This first one shows Guy, Thomas, and Amir out for dinner, and you'll notice that Guy has, you know, a big head and a big fluffy red beard, so it's, it's kind of like, you know, kind of a little bit more full than we've seen in the first picture we had him here, and we thought at the time, maybe he's just a friend, he's just out with them for dinner. 
Then we have this. Amir posted this, and this was went for a slop up Korean barbecue with Sandra, Guy, and Tom's to celebrate some wrappage. Again, we know this was when they wrapped on the show. We know that Sandra, Thomas, and Amir finished filming, and Amir posted this. He was pretty excited about finishing filming. Um, but we we're a guy at the time, again, we thought maybe he's just friends with these three. Maybe he's just out for, for a laugh with them. Um, but again, it was a little strange that uh, he was included in a rap celebration. So there was that. And then we have another social media post here. This happens to show Guy, Thomas, Sandra, and Guy's wife, uh, Jessica Boone, who is another local actress. And again, we kind of thought, well, maybe, maybe they're just friends. It's it's starting to pile up now. The circumstantial evidence surrounding Guy's involvement in the show was, was getting to be a bit much. And then we have this. This was posted the day after the Block 4 table read. And I believe, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, so feel free to, to say if I'm wrong and... and and call me out on this, but I, I believe this is the first time that Guy interacted with any of the main cast on Twitter. Uh, and this was, again, the day after the Block 4 table read, so the day after he would have met some of uh, these folks. And this is for Hammond. Now, we know that Hammond is playing loyal, and Hammond is also a very big stage actor, so they would have had a lot in common, a lot to talk about, and he's basically congratulating him on an award that he received for the stage acting. So, again, more circumstantial evidence piled on top of all of this. Um, so I got to thinking, you know, in the last few weeks, it's a lot of circumstantial evidence, but do we have anything else? So I reached out to a couple of my sources, and basically a source close to the production confirmed to me that, yes, Guy was on set filming. Um, he is playing a reoccurring role. So that's that's the first big piece of big news. He's playing a reoccurring role, so a role that will come back. It's not just a one-off. It's not a cameo. Uh, it is a reoccurring role. Um and then I got to thinking, so we know he's involved. We know he's playing a recurring role. He's in block four. He's with all the other Shinarans. Um, and look at him. <laughs> I mean, remember the clip? Uh, in addition to all of his you know, various accolades for stage acting, he is also a, a world-renowned fight choreographer. So he does a lot of fight choreography for his stage productions. And he's well-versed in martial arts and a number of medieval weapons. So that got me thinking, who could he play? And then I started going through the Twitter of Time posts again, and, um, and this is a big shout out to Geeky Eri. She found this one. He interacted uh, with a few Uno posts. So it's kind of neat that he did that. So I believe, and this is a guess, and I'm letting you know, take this with a big grain of salt because this is not confirmed at all, but I believe he's playing the character Uno. And let's face it, when I read the books and I read Uno, I imagined Uno in my mind as me, mainly because Uno's super cool and I wanted to be just like him. But when I saw Guy, that's the first thing I thought is I'd, I'd like him to be Uno because, I mean, when I looked up what he had done, the clips that he's been in, he would be a fantastic Uno. Now, he, now he does horseback riding, he does uh, martial arts, he does uh, swordsmanship and a number of different other medieval weapons, and he does fight choreography. So he's well-versed in all of that stuff, so he would do a very good job playing a soldier of some sort, which he has also done in other productions. So... Is he playing Uno? I really don't know for sure, but that's my guess. So we know that he's involved in production. We know he's playing a reoccurring role. My guess is that it's Uno. So I want to hear what you folks think. So let me know in the comments down below, what is Guy doing? Is he playing Uno? Like I said, is he playing another reoccurring role? And you got to remember it's reoccurring, so he's coming back and playing it again and again. That's what reoccurring means. Um, and it's not just a cameo or a one shot. So what could he be playing? He was there for block four. He was there for the block four table read. We believe we're not entirely sure on that, but we I did have my source confirm that he was filming. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Which characters are you playing? And uh, when is Amazon going to reveal all of these other castings that are slowly starting to leak out? Because we would really like to have some official confirmation of some of these because these are these are fantastic actors and actresses. And I really, truly think that a lot of them would like to start talking about the roles. Um, but we know they can't. We know they can't talk about it. We know they can't post about it because, you know, um, until Amazon officially announces them, there's not much they can do. But I would really like to see that because I know there's probably a ton of them and a ton of them that we don't even know about that are just itching to interact with the fandom. So there's that. All right, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for sticking with me here to the very end. And here's to many more.